All right, some trash here from the boxes. Okay. All right, here we go. This is the NAS project we have going on for work. We're gonna have on site, which is a Synology DS1817 Plus. Off site's gonna be a D uh, Synology DS1517 Plus. Um, we have um, DDR3 SODIMM, six, uh, 16 gigabytes, 8 gigs each stick uh, for both stations. Um, I got uh, these two right here are the PCI um, caching cards from Synology. Uh, I think it's the, there you go, M2D17. Hopefully those work out good. Got some Intel M.2 times 2 for each one. Um, let's see, for the uh, offsite, I've got two 6 terabyte NAS drives uh, left over from another project um, that we're scrapping in favor of this. So there's that. And then we got these, which are going to be uh, my three file servers at work, uh, are each going to get um, a RAID 1 array of four terabytes. I was going to get the three terabyte 64 bank cache. Uh, HD or excuse me uh, uh, Western Digital Red Pro but they ran out of them and I only had three of them left and I couldn't get them on uh, Amazon and I needed six so come to find out I could get it f the four terabyte 128 meg cache uh, for cheaper so yeah there you go so hopefully this will turn out in, to be a a nice little build nice little NAS build so let's here let's start opening some of these things here I'm not going to open the RAM because you know it's, I mean, that's, it's RAM. That's, that's all it is. Um, yeah, it's nothing, nothing fancy. you you see everything here. There it is. Uh, but we can open up some of these other things right, here. So here we are. Uh, we're going to start opening some of this stuff. Um, these are the, uh, the SSDs that we got. They're 512 gig bytes, 512 gig, um, M.2s. They're the 80 millimeter. And that's it. That's as simple as it is for this one. And this one came kind of semi-open, it seems. But you get the solid-state drive book, all that, all that jazz, and then of course the car, the course the thing. So we're gonna put the RAM aside. Let's see about one of these things here. See if they're any different than. <clears throat> It looks to be a retail copy. I guess this might be volume or something. I, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. So, okay. So the other one was just, I guess, an open box. I sure hope it's not used. It doesn't look used. Maybe it's just a, it didn't have its box, but whatever. Okay. So this is the Synology uh, caching card, PCI Express. Um... Yeah, see, it's, it handles um, dual M.2 2280, 2260, 2242 SSDs. I'm hoping that this comes with the screws because from the looks of it, uh, the Intel cards do not. I don't think they ever have. <laughs> Excuse me, some of the screws. M SATA, M.2, those drives just do not come with a screw. And sometimes the lap, when you buy a laptop, which is primarily what I use them for, uh, it doesn't come with a screw if you don't get it from the factory, so sometimes that's a big pain. So let's hope and pray that this has the screw. <coughs> oh, it says three-year warranty, huh? Yeah, it says right there on the box. Three-year warranty. Woohoo. All right, here we go. It's uh, standard packaging stuff. But we got some kind of, I don't know. Some kind of adapter, some kind of standoff, sort of look like uh, what you get with a for a motherboard, and then screws. Hopefully, that's a good sign. All right, let's see what this card looks like. Ah, looks like a standard PCI card. Comes in anti-static, which is really nice because you know. All right, I'm not gonna. I do too much because I don't want to touch it. But there it is. It's gonna handle both with the oh I see, I see, I see. Okay, so so these right here 
go underneath and then these screws go through to hold the thing in. Oh, okay. So there you go. There you go. So two M SATAs are going to go in this guy. And that's going to go in each one of the servers. So let's put this back here. Pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. I'm really excited about this project. Um, this is going to be a really nice setup for us where we are. Okay, I'm not going to undo the, the six, the six gig, the six terabytes because uh, you know you already saw those. So these are the four terabyte uh, Western Digital Reds. I assume that this is like a volume pack that they gave or some sort, but. There you go. It's a hard drive. It's Western Digital Red Pro. Um, I'm not going to break the seal on this until I'm ready to put, put it in the box because I, uh, I'm going to take a little me time and play some, some WoW. Uh, I need a break from work and I'll do this after raid. So I'll have at least some, some fun for after, when I, after my games. It's going to be late night. Alright, we're going to open up the DS um, 1817 Plus. This is, I guess, the, the more professional version. There's a DS 1817. Um, I think it doesn't have the, as many business related stuff. I don't know exactly what they are, but yeah, it is what it is. All right. First thing is in the box. And they give you. Two Ethernet cables. There we go. Uh, power cable. Um, some kind of key. A bunch of miscellaneous screws. That's nifty. Okay. Get all the all the stuff, accessories. And let's. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you got a uh, quick install guide, installation guide. Uh, so it's just reading material. And then we have the actual NAS itself. It's actually kind of heavy. It's actually kind of heavy. Alrighty. It feels like an old computer. Feels like just an old computer. It's got that metal feel to it. It's all metal surrounding here. Uh, plastic front bezel. That's fine. But there it is. Over here. Okay. So there it is. The DS 1817 Plus. Um, quick release, really easy, really smooth. I've had some HP ProLiant micro servers, um, and I've had some other miscellaneous drive enclosures, uh, SAT, eSATA, USB, USB three, all the, all the deals, and I've never had them be as just smooth like the cage come out as smooth as this one is. That's a big plus for me. So there are eight here. There's going to be one, two, three arrays, and then space for um, expansion, uh, whether it be another file server um, or just another project or whatever. I don't know. I'd like to have room for, for expansion so I don't have to buy another big, large, I don't have to do another large investment into another NAS. I can just pop them in there. So as you can see, you got status alert, uh, power button. LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, activity lights. Really nice to see that all four of them are going to be there. We're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing static uh, link aggregation with uh, load balancing. <coughs> and then you can see the Synology with what looks like a mesh uh, grill kind of deal. It's pretty cool looking. I like it. I like it. On the back, you have the expansion card slot there uh, and two very massive fans. 
Uh, you have three USB uh, 3.0. Uh, was that a eSATA 2, eSATA 1? Okay, so these are the, the, the first and second eSATA ports. Uh, there's no different. There's no different standard. Um, there's your Kensington lock. If you oh, you can't see it. There's your Kensington lock. There's the power thing. Power thing. <laughs> uh, there's the uh, the power port, and on the side you have another mesh grill Synology. Very very solid solid system. Um, I'm excited to crack this thing open here soon. I'm assuming it's just going to be these these screws right here. And then this is going to probably just slide off, and then I can take the card out, or put the card in, and then the RAM, hard drives, and boot this thing up. Uh, we're going to be running 16 gigs of RAM, which is the max. We're going to be running uh, two 512 gigabyte uh, cache cards. Uh, 